maybe he didn't know. تسأل واحد تقول له إيه الفرق بين الحديث الضعيف والحديث الجيد والحديث الحسن والحديث الموقوف والحديث المرفوع والحديث أحد what the difference many many حديث what the difference most of the people you don't know and some people you know but not deeply you have to be reading at least or يعني professional for the حديث even the people study شرع it's not professional with حديث you cannot go deeply basic So, مصطلح الحديث is big huge علم إن شاء الله. I promise you إن شاء الله we will talk in يعني نغترف منه إن شاء الله غرفة نستفيد منها. And after that we're gonna start after that كتاب الإمام أبي عبد الرحمن الابن ناصر الدين الألباني في صفة صلاة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. كيف كان نبي الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. How رسول الله was praying. في حديث في كتاب عن الإمام الألباني يقول صفة صلاة النبي من التكبير حتى التسليم كأنك تراها يعني هي بريسكريبت هاو رسول الله was praying exactly from since he start الله أكبر until he say السلام عليكم looks like you see him لأن الرسول قال صلوا كما رأيتموني أصلي pray as you see رسول الله pray exactly among the رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم دير بصر الإسلام الحديث النهاردة معنا يقول يا ابن آدم عندك ما يكفيك وأنت تطلب ما يطغيك يا ابن آدم يا صانب آدم عندك ما يكفيك وأنت تطلب ما يطغيك you have enough but you asking for more and more and more you make you injustice لا, بق... لا من قليل تشبع ولا من كثير تقنع even if you give you something less or little He's not enough. He make you fool. And if he give you a lot, it's not enough for you. As another hadith said, Ibn Adam, لو أتاه واد من ذهب. If Allah give you mountain of gold, you will ask him for another one. And you ask him for another one. ويطلب الآخر. ولا يملأ عين ابن آدم إلا التراب ويتوب الله على من تاب. The only one you make your eyes enough. The dirt. When you go under the dirt, then you're gonna know this is enough. ابن آدم عندك ما يكفيك وأنت تطلب ما يطغيك لا من قليل تشبع ولا من كثير تقنع إن أنت أصبحت معافا في جسدك عندك قوت يومك آمنا في سربك عندك قوت يومك فعل الدنيا العفاء. أنظر حديث. حديث شريف عن الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من أصبح معافا في جسده آمنا في سربه عنده قوت يومه فقد حاز الدنيا بحذافيرها. The meaning of hadith is said three parts. Number one, if you wake up in the morning early, no pain, no awi. If you work, if you work, if you <coughs> if you have security system, you are insecure. And number three, if you have food enough to one day, you are have everything. Hold the life, hold the dunya between your hand. وعلى الدنيا العفاء كما أنك تكون يعني زعلان من واحد تقوله أنا عفيت عنك. يعني مش عايز من الدنيا حاجة عفيت عنها تركتها. Looks like I said the dunya. I don't need anything from the dunya. If you have this three thing, let's go for a few minutes before the doctor Nahdi start. We talking about. من أصبح معافا في جسده. The one he wake up in the morning and his body, his health is perfect, no pain, no damage, nothing. I give you exactly a small example. If someone you have teeth pain, pain all the night, you cannot sleep all the night. You hold his pain like this, his teeth, and you cannot sleep. Correct? Someone you say no. Absolutely no. Alam al-dirs. May name shil lil. You cannot sleep all the night. If you have fever, harara, you cannot sleep all the night. Wiza shaka ud, tada'a lahu baqi al-a'da bis-sahari wal-humma. One part in your body, you have pain, all the body is ready for him. You cannot. If you have headache, you can sleep. I cannot sleep. All my body is ready. Flip. This side and this side. Going back and forth. 
looking for medicine, looking for this one, right? So, when you wake up in the morning, dear brother in Islam, and you find your health, alhamdulillah, good, no headache, no pain, no bones, no kidney, no liver, all this treasure, Allah gave it to us. If everything is okay, say alhamdulillah, I have everything. Wallahi, I have everything. And uh, remember, I always advise our brother in Islam, you go visit the hospital. You go visit the council, you know the council, uh, uh, some way, department or section. Or you go visit the people you have a council. People, you have a burn skin. And look, young people, how you pain. Look in the people, you have kidney problem. Just to go visit and look. I'm not going to tell you the woman when you be pregnant, how suffering. No, different story. I'm saying the people suffering all the night. Pain, ah, we, ah, we, all the night. Go visit one time and defeat the difference. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you big ni'mah, big bounty, big favorite, the health. Saha, akbar ni'mah. Tagun ala ru'usul asaha la yarahu illa al-marda. The health like crown in your head. Nobody can see him except the sickness people. The patient, when you see you healthy, you, I, I hope I be like him. I hope I, I know friend. May Allah give him shifa, inshallah. Ulu amin, inshallah. Brother Abdul Ghani, he knows him. Uh, I always make a dua and ask everybody making dua. He was in the wheelchair, and he doing he going this angle to make a, a surgery in his back for the Amud al Fakri, the spine, because it's bone or the. وهو في الطريق رايح على لوس انجلوس ابنه شاب في الجامعة his son in, in university college age he drive it was morning raining and cloud cloudy day and the bus you know the bus the public bus the government bus he came in his side so his son stepped on in the brick hard he was behind he was in the, not in the front in the behind he fly from back to the front hit the car and his wife in the top of him. Even the seat belt, the, the seat belt broke. Wallahi is very, very sadness. And his leg got broken. So he went to, to the doctor in the hospital, Los Angeles, late. The nurse, he didn't want to let him in. He has surgery appointment, he have to be in the time. But nobody knows the situation. So he explained to them the situation. The ambulance took him, Taban, absolutely. So when he went to there, the doctor accepted him. He laid, but accept him, alhamdulillah. And he started making surgery for him in the back, the spine, and in the leg. And now he's, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he give him shifa, inshallah. Couple days, and his son, another son, he make another accident. When you go, dear brother in Islam, to visit our brother, you visit him, he cannot move. You need somebody to move him. Even his leg, when you go there to visit him, you ask you, please help me out, put this here, put this here. Only his wife to help him out. May Allah give her blessing, inshallah, and the mercy and reward her. Wallahi, when you see one of those, I cry. But at the same time, I said, Alhamdulillah, look we, 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 where we are. Look, I have stress in my life until here. Not until here, until here. And Dr. Nahid called me for our friend. May Allah bless him. He passed away. He had a cancer the sabah. I went to the, 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 the hospital, I looking at him in the bed, cancel, cancel going, going, going up and up and up, and he start to change his body. When I saw him, I forget everything. All to mean, mean, fin ana wala huwa? Which one, me or him? Absolutely you, me. Whatever you have problem, it's nothing. If you look in this guy. So I advise everybody. I'm sorry I'm talking about personal stuff, but this is reality, close to us. We have to remember that. When you visit the hospital, don't go visit the hospital because you're going to take some chocolate and give it to him and go home. No. Take the wisdom. Focus. Realize. In ni'mah lint aish fiha. Take favorite Allah gave it to us. This is only ni'mah. I don't want to make it longer because when you're talking about the health, it is huge. The second ni'mah, the second favorite, which is aminan fi sirbihi. When you wake up in the morning, secure. You don't scare. Nothing is scare you. Right away thinking for the people in Palestinian, 
Jewish people, anytime you go, you kill him right away. No even insurance. Nobody can protect. If the Jewish people came inside any house and explode the <laughs> destroy it, who's going to say, what are you doing? Nothing. These people is not safe at all. Looking in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, the same situation. Never mind about our generation. Look, long time ago, since Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was here. How many Muslims was? Before the established Islam established and he make it announced, 40. Omar ibn Khattab, may Allah bless him, he was number 40. The day he was around the Kaaba and said, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Any one of the Kafir people like Abu Jahl or Abu Lahab, you kill anyone. Malush Diya. Who's going, what are you going to do? Nothing. He killed uh, uh, Sumayya, the first Shaheed in Islam, the mother of Ammar ibn Yasser. He killed his father from his eyes. Malush Diya. Nobody can even protect him. We are in a secure. Wallahi, if you have so small pain or headache, and you die in 911, just easy like this, die in 911. It's not six numbers, three numbers only. You find the department of the health department, the medical, and the, the fire department, and the, the police department, right? Did I lie or I say reality? Many on one around you, yes, sir. How, how secure you are. And we do not thank Allah enough in this na'mah, in this favorite. But look in somebody else. You will feel the ni'mah, you will feel the favorite. We are in joy with the light. Nobody say alhamdulillah with the light. If the electricity comes down right now and you stay in the dark, nobody see each other, you will say, oh, alhamdulillah, the light is okay <laughs> if you came back, right? Ma tafqidh ma tahsish bin ni'mah illa lama tafqidha. Aw tahsib nuqsanha. Allahumma dim alayna ni'mah kaya rabbil alameen. You cannot feel the bounty until you lose it or you feel missed it. Subhanallah. So we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He give our, our ni'mah, our favorite, the health and the secure. The third one, عِنْدَهُ قُوتَ يَوْمِهِ He have food enough for one day. One day enough. Why? Because I don't know when I'm going to die. If I'm dying the end of the day or next day, look in the rich people. I'm talking about the people who have castle or palace or mansion. You have... You walk inside the house like two hours, three hours, is not done yet. Go downstairs in the basement and look in the center supply food. You know. If you have, not like us, you have one refrigerator or two. Absolutely, you have deep freezer like six, five, seven. I don't know how many. But I saw this in my, in my life. You have food enough for maybe two, three years between cans and the food and this. May Allah bless him. If he Muslim halal food, may Allah bless him. But we take example only. يعني بنقيس المعايير. لو هو مات النهاردة مين اللي هيتمتع بالأكل ده غيره وهو هيتحاسب عليه. If he died today and he left all this huge food between meat and the chicken and the cans and many different kind, if he die, he will be judge in this money and somebody else he will enjoy. وساعات ممكن يستمتع بي واحد أنت ما بتحبوش. قد يستمتع بي مش عايز اقول عدوك لكن واحد انت ما بتحبوش maybe one enjoy with this house and your car and your house and your food الله سبحانه وتعالى judge you and he enjoy and I doesn't like him I give you example I hear it from someone of the dua he says if your daughter came to you daddy I love this person he's my friend in the college I need to marry him and you look at him I don't like him. He's smoking and he put uh, sensei in, I know, necklace. He looked like, uh, I don't like this kind of people. His daughter, please.